Did you know drones, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, are used for everything from routine tasks to survival missions? These robot-like helicopters may do everything from delivering groceries to rescuing avalanche victims. Hello folks, welcome to the Modern Day Geeks. This video is going to be about drones. Yes, you heard it right. We will tell you all about drones, how they operate, what technology is currently being used to operate drones, and how it helps in a war mission. So, without further ado, let's get this video started. Unmanned aircraft, or drones, have made great strides in recent years, penetrating regions where specific industries were stagnating or lagging and becoming indispensable to various corporations and government agencies. Drone capabilities are proven invaluable when humans cannot reach or cannot do so quickly or efficiently, such as during rush hour deliveries or the scanning of an inaccessible military site. Drones have several potential applications in the business world, including enhancing efficiency and productivity, reducing workload and production costs, increasing accuracy, enhancing service and customer relations, and tackling security challenges worldwide. Drones went from being a fad to a widespread industry trend as soon as companies realized their many practical applications and worldwide impact. These remote-controlled or app-accessible unmanned aircraft may travel to far-flung locations with minimal effort, time, and resources. This is a significant factor in their widespread adoption, especially in the armed forces, the commercial sector, the consumer market, and the field of future technologies. Drone Technology Throughout History Even though drones have been around for over 20 years, their history can be traced back to World War I, when the United States and France developed autonomous, unmanned airplanes. Despite this, the previous few years have been pivotal for drones in terms of popularity, industry expansion, and global recognition. Drone technology has flourished recently, with applications ranging from technically staffing sensitive military regions to attracting amateurs worldwide. Drones have gained popularity due to their many practical applications which individuals, businesses, and governments have recognized. Due to increased safety and efficiency, drones became public after being developed for the military and aerospace industries. These robotic UAVs can fly with varying degrees of autonomy, meaning they don't require a human pilot. Drones can be operated in various autonomous modes, from remotely piloted, where a human controls the drone's movements, to highly independent, where the drone uses sensors and LiDAR detectors to compute its movements. How do drones work? Many factors are involved behind the scenes to support the seamless operation of drones, so it's essential to become familiar with the remote technology that makes up a drone system. Pilots must consider the factors that make a drone suited for specific jobs, from delivering commands to ensuring a manageable weight. Among the many variables in play, a drone's most critical components are its ground control station, or GCS, payload, and data links. UAVs or Unmanned Aircraft Vehicles Unmanned Aerial Systems, or UAS, refer to the more extensive system that makes drones possible, whereas Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, or UAV, are the actual aircraft. The Unmanned Aerial Vehicle is the brain of the Unmanned Aerial System, and it can fly using fixed wings, a single rotary engine, or many rotary engines. Ground Control Station, or GCS The primary component of every UAV or UAS's ability to fly is its ground control station. These control points can range in size from a whole workstation with many monitors to a portable controller or even a nap. The GCS can be handled by a human pilot or remotely via satellite to manage flight, payload sensors, status readouts, mission planning, and data link tethering. Payloads Multi-rotor aircraft, or UAVs, can carry payloads of varying sizes. When properly constructed, Drones may be an effective means of delivering everything from life-saving medication to goods. Some drones have a maximum altitude of a few thousand feet, while others can soar overseas at breakneck speeds. Drones can vary significantly in their carrying capacities, with some being able to lift hundreds of pounds, and others just 10. Drones for the Armed Forces Drones are now primarily used for military purposes. Drones have become a standard issue for militaries everywhere, serving multiple functions, including target decoys, combat operations, R&D, and oversight. By 2027, 
The global market for military drones is expected to grow to a whopping $23.78 billion, per research by Globe Newswire. A single United States Predator drone costs roughly $4 million. Therefore, military funding is typically done in more significant chunks. Due to their high convenience in decreasing losses and facilitating the execution of high-profile and time-sensitive missions, unmanned aerial vehicles will continue to be utilized in diverse military operations. The United States continues to dominate the global drone market by a wide margin. The United States military has considerable experience with the architecture, construction, and deployment of UAV technology, thanks to a decade of extensive operational work with drones. The need for air power in the wars on terror has inspired a significant wave of innovation, even though inter-service and inter-agency tensions hindered the development of drones in the latter half of the Cold War. Thousands of uncrewed aerial vehicles, or UAVs, are used by the United States Armed Forces. Unsurprisingly, the drone wars over Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia have captivated the public's attention. These initiatives, while important, hardly scratch the surface of UAV contributions to U.S. military operations. That's it for today, and we hope you like the information. If you want to know more about drones and growing global technology, subscribe to us. Also, ring that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new information. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we'll see you in our next video.